All right, this is a demonstration of periodicity pitch. On the face of the oscilloscope, you see uh, my waveform, which contains A220 and D. And when I mix them together, I'm not running this through a modulator. These are both sine waves. And when I mix them together, you see periodicity pitch appear. The periodicity pitch, it's the difference tone between the two frequencies, or the largest common factor. And um, the difference between A220 and D293 is 73, the um, fundamental of harmonic series that we contain two frequencies. All right, now um, the um, periodicity pitch is in the amplitude of the wave, and you can see there's a peak every fourth cycle, uh, four to three ratio between the two tones. Um, so there's a periodicity pitch amplitude every fourth peak. All right, now I'm going to move it up to a perfect fifth. there, A220 and E330, and so the um, periodicity pitch, the largest common factor or the difference tone between A220 A and E330 is um, A110. And back it says, if the change in the pattern of the sound stimulus is fast enough, the ear will hear the sound of this frequency, even though no such frequency is present in the original stimulus. It's just an interference pattern between the two waves, but the ear hears it nonetheless. The, the frequency so heard is called periodicity pitch. Now, I also like to demonstrate the tritone. Right in there. You get a wave to stand still there. A220 and um, D sharp 311. The periodicity pitch. Now, actually, there's two periodicity pitches in there, depending on whether you tune to an e, a D sharp or an E flat. Equal tempered is halfway between the two. And the periodicity pitches of A to D sharp and A to E flat are different. A to E flat will give you um, F, A to D sharp will give you a B. And those are the tritone substitution roots that are commonly used in jazz. In other words, jazz harmony is based on periodicity pitch.